Good evening. Oh, well, so finally here. It's been a very trying time here in Texas. I'm sure you guys have been on top of what's going on in Texas and that many people have been without electricity, water, and, you know, food for many um, for the past couple of days. But uh, we thank God I'm here today and um, I'll be doing a quick review on a book. Um, that I spoke about last week briefly and hopefully we get to kind of enjoy the book it's gonna be a very brief review and um, I'm glad to be here I'm glad to be alive I'm glad to be home have light have water you know these are the things that we often take for granted living in the United States and this is just a reminder that we are so fortunate and so we have a lot to be grateful and thankful for anyway so today's review is going to be on this anthology um a romance anthology um by several um black um authors um the book is called family first and it it covers different genres of the romantic um genre, i want to say romantic genre um the authors in this book are and the books are, um, the first book is called Invested. The author is Iris Bowling. The second is Love Under Contract. Author is Sharon C. Cooper. Unforgettable by Delaney Diamond. Blessed by Malachi by Cheryl Green. Evenings with Bryson by Tina Martin. Safe with Me by Stephanie Nicole. Cooking Up Love by Candace Shaw. And Keeping Secrets by Kiru Tyre. And uh, if you're someone who reads romance novels, at least one of these authors will be very familiar to you. So, um, there are many reasons actually I love this anthology. There's, you know, as a title said, family first, and that's what this book is literally about. Um, one is about protecting your family, you know, uh, from different kinds of sabotage, espionage, particularly in a business setting. Another one is about finding out that you have a secret, secret child and how you deal with that. Finding out that someone has gotten pregnant and... Um, without your permission, you know, because uh, you guys had a discussion about this and this person goes ahead to go get pregnant. And how do you deal with it when you find out that you have a child out there? Um, some is about, you know, finding out that someone's family actually hurts your family or you believe the person hurts your family. And later finding out that that is not really how things panned out. So it's just different things having to do with family, finding out um, different secrets, and still, despite all of these obstacles, um, still choosing to fall in love, still choosing to remain in love, still choosing to to just find the bright side in everything. So you know, there's so many. As I mentioned, there's several books, and there's something there's something for any everyone. Uh, my favorite book um, out of all of them is you know the one i really enjoyed and i didn't this was my first time my first introduction to actually this author and that's one of the great things about anthologies is because they, they they introduce you to other authors and sometimes other genres of fiction that you are quite unaware of and my favorite was invested and the reason i loved invested was because it's just just the pace of the writing it was just oh my god it was so beautiful you know um you get to know who each of the character you get to know what pushes them into what they do uh, and the way they played one against each other you're like oh my god you could just literally see this story turning out on a, on coming out on tv it was really that good i really enjoyed it and i will actually continue reading the rest of the series um once i'm you know once this is done once i'm done with my next book <laughs> Um, another book I actually enjoyed too was um, Cooking Up Love by Candice Shaw. And the reason I loved it was because it's, like, it's around something which I love, my second love, food. And it was about a food critic falling in love with a chef and um, what comes you know, with that relationship, particularly when you throw secrets um, that had to do with the food critic life and stuff like that. And it was a very beautiful story because I could just, I could just see how the whole thing happened and the way they described the food was like, oh my God, yum. Um, so I liked that a lot. And then they have Keeping Secrets by Kiritaye. I have um, blogged about Kiritaye's books before, so you know that I'm a fan of her work. And I think I had read that book before, so that's the reason I'm not really going really into it. Kiritaye is a great author, so you know um, you will always find something amongst her books that you like. And then there were other authors in here that I was like very interesting. You know, I had never really uh, read their works before. 
And so this was a great introduction to their books. So, you know, um, if you're not doing anything, this is the month of love. So you just pick up this book. I believe it's on the New York Times bestseller list right now. Or you can get it from Amazon. Just pick it up, take a read, and let me know what your thoughts are, who your favorite author is, why you liked that story in particular, and whether there was anything in that story that resonated to you. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care and God bless. Ciao.